Hi, I'm Sarah, and today I'm here with Cecilia uh, from our program in Bolivia. Um, she's our program officer, and she's travelled a long way to come and see us in Ireland, and we're really glad she's here. So, Cecilia, you're very welcome. Um, I just thought we'd maybe start with uh, what your what your day is like when you work for Christian Aid in Bolivia. Thank you, Sarah. Well, actually, I'm lucky enough to live quite close to the office, so I have the chance to walk there, and it takes me 15 minutes, usually, to walk to the office. So what I do when I go there is just try to catch up with the news first to see if something has changed in the context and if it will affect the project. But then it's um, really about getting in touch with the partners and with the communities to see how the project are doing, if there are any changes they might want to do or not, and also talking to people in London and in the UK just to see what they request from us and what they need. Yeah, and um, do you find uh, the time difference to be difficult when you're working and trying to contact us in the UK or in Ireland? Is that a challenge or...? Yes, definitely. Good. Well, yeah. It's not such a big time difference, it's just five hours, but the problem is that when we need to have meetings with teams that are in Asia or in Africa. It gets difficult to get everyone together at the same time. And actually this year I've had quite a few meetings at 6 a.m. <gasps> oh no, <laughs> I would not be okay with that. I would be still sleeping. <laughs> and um, what do you find, like what would be your favorite part of your work? I suppose it's quite unpredictable, but. Yes. Well, I think for me the favorite thing about working for Christian Aid is being in touch with the communities both in the UK and in Bolivia. Okay. Because talking to people and actually seeing how much they want to work together to build this global movement for justice, that always inspires me. And it reminds me of when I was a child and I was a part of a church community with my parents. So yes, that brings back good memories, but it also moves me. Yeah, so powerful. <laughs> what would be like the most challenging thing about your work? Well, I think one of the most challenging things is when we go visit the communities and they want us to reach more people or to reach more communities and we don't always have the resources to do so. But also, I guess, sometimes again, just coordinating with teams who are really far away from us, that is quite complicated. And what would be like the most, your standout moment? Do you have one? Well, I have several, and it's Ooh. quite difficult to choose, but I will talk to you about one that happened this year. Because we have a project that focuses on empowering indigenous women to become effective leaders. And I met one of these women two years ago when the project was just beginning. And she was really shy. We were at her community. And she was talking about the challenges that women face. But you could see that it was difficult for her to talk about all these things. And this year, she completed the training provided by the partner. And she was just a different person completely. And so we recognized each other. And she hugged me. And she said that none of this would have been possible without Christian aid and without the project. So, so that great. was really fantastic. Oh, I'm so glad to hear it. Thank you for sharing that with us, Cecilia. Well, thank, thank you, you. Sarah. <laughs>